bodies, and in this project we're going to be programming our microbits and turning them into a pedometer. A pedometer is something that's able to detect and count the amount of steps that you take. So we're going to use the sensor in the microbit to detect when it is shaken, and using that we're going to be able to detect a step and then record how many steps we take. We'll use the microbits, the LEDs on the front of it, to display how many steps we've taken so far. This is quite a simple project, so if you're just starting out using your microbits, this is a good project for you. If you want to see all the step-by-step -step instructions for this project, go to our website, 123code.org forward slash H594. Let's go get the instructions. So on the website, 123code.org, we're going to enter in H594 as the project code and click on Start Project. So here are the instructions, and as we can see, there are 10 different steps. There's not too much code to add, so let's get going. Step number one is to create a new microbit project. So we can open up this green tip box here by clicking on this blue text. And in here, it has the link to the microbit website. So clicking on this is going to open up a second tab. And this is the microbit website where we can go in and create projects, create code for microbits. Clicking on the new project button will bring you to the project editor. So as with all our instruction videos, we're going to have one tab open for with our project editor and then another tab open with our steps. So we finished step one, let's move on to step two, which is to create a steps variable. A variable is something that remembers a value. For example, if you're playing a game, you, the game is going to have a score variable. So your score to start the game is going to be zero. But during the game, as you do different actions in the game to get points, your score is going to go up and the score variable will remember what your current score is. So for this project, we need to remember how many steps we've taken. So to do that, we need a steps variable. So again, in the tip, box here, clicking on the blue text will open up and show you how to create a variable, but let's go ahead and do it in the project editor. So in the toolbox, we're going to go into the variables toolbox and then click on make a variable. Now this box that opens up is asking me, what do I want to call it? So it's always good to call it something intuitive, something that makes sense. So as it's going to remember our steps, let's type in steps and then click on the OK button. As we can see, it creates new blocks in our toolbox. So let's move on to the next step, which is step number three. So we're gonna set up the steps variable at the start of, of when we turn on our microbits, when we turn on our pedometers. So at the start, we want our steps to be zero. So we're going to put in a set steps to zero inside the on start block. So as usual, when you start a new project in microbits, you will have an on start block and a forever block. These are default blocks that always get added to each project. So let's set up our steps variable by dragging in set steps to zero and putting it inside the on start block. Now, moving on to step number four, we want to detect a step. So de to detect a step, we're gonna use the shake functionality in our microbits. Microbits have an accelerometer in them, which can detect when they're shaken. And we can use the onshake block to get access to that sensor. So let's go into the input toolbox and drag in an onshake. And each time it's shaken, we're going to add one to our steps variable. So we'll go into our variables toolbox and drag in a change steps by one and put that inside the on shake. So let's move on to the next step. Step number five is to display the number of steps. So, so far we've set up our steps variable, we've detected when it is shaken, and we've added one to steps, but we need to show it back out on the microbit to see how many we, how many steps we've currently taken. So we're going to add a show number block with a steps variable block inside it and put that inside the forever block because we always want to show it on the screen. So let's go back to our code. We will go into the basic toolbox and we're going to get a show number and put that inside the forever. So as we can see in our simulator over here on the left, now that we've added that block, 
At the moment, it's showing number zero. If I click on the shake to simulate a shake, we can see that the number isn't going up. That's because at the moment, we're just saying show number zero. We need to say show number and pass in the amount of steps we've currently taken, which is stored in the steps variable. So let's go into the variables toolbox, get the steps block and put that inside the show number block. Now our simulator has reloaded, so it starts off at zero, but each time we shake, you can see the number goes up. So that's all the code added. As I said at the beginning, there's not too much code to it. There's not too many blocks to add. Let's go on to the next step, which is to send the code to your micro bit. Again, in the green tip box here, we've got the, the different steps you need to do to send it. But if you want to watch the video, I'm going to do it right here and now. So the first thing to do is to give a project a name. So you can call it pedometer or Fitbit or Steppy, whatever you want to call it and then click on the download button. This is going to package our code into a file and download it onto our computer, into our, into our downloads folder or wherever your, your file downloads go. So if I pull my downloads across here, we, I can see I've got a new file, microbitpedometer.hex. And what I need to do is copy this file onto my microbit. So I've already connected my microbit to my computer using a USB cable. So there's a couple of different ways I can send this to my microbit. I can right click on the file and go to send to and then click on microbit. Or if you want to open up a second folder and click on your microbit, you can just drag and drop your project file onto your microbit folder and that will copy it across. As we can see, there's a progress bar there as it copies across. Should just take a few seconds and once it's done, that's it loaded up onto your microbit. So once it, you've done that, disconnect your microbit, connect your battery pack, and then give it a go. So put it into your sock, or even if you wanna just hold it in your hand, just to test it out, give it a little shake. And each time you shake it, you should see the number on your microbit increase each time. If you do want to actually use it as a pedometer, as a type of Fitbit device, what you can do is you can tuck it into your sock or attach it to your, your shoe. Just it needs to go somewhere that it will detect the shake of your step each time. But be warned, be careful when you're walking around with a microbit. If it is on your shoe or in, in your sock, just be careful it doesn't fall out and you don't stand on it and break it. If you do try it out for real by putting it in your sock, you might notice that there's a problem with it. And that is, it's only counting a step for every two steps you take. So say you put it in your left sock and you test it out and start walking. You will notice that it only counts one each time your left foot hits the ground. It doesn't count the steps of your right foot. So to do that, to compensate for that, we need to go back and just make a slight code change. So in the on shake block, instead of just changing by one, changing steps by one, we want to change that to be change steps by two. So just go in, change two to one, download it again, send it to your microbit, and now you've got a fully working pedometer that will count your steps and count both of your feet as they go along. You'll also notice that once you get to 10 steps or more, that the microbit starts scrolling the figures across the screen. So I am on 12 steps. And as you can see, it shows one and then two, one and then two. If you want just to kind of show uh, what number comes first, you can just put maybe a show icon underneath the number. So what it'll do is it'll show the number and then it'll show the heart. So we know what is the first number. So again, let's get up above 10. So it show the number and then it'll show the icon. So we can see it's one, two instead of two, one. So that's the end of the project. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got your pedometer working. If this is one of the first times you've used a microbit or you've coded a microbit, have a little explore through the toolboxes and look at the different blocks that are in there. Try a few different ones out and just explore a bit, get a bit more familiar with it. You really can do lots and lots of different things with microbits. They're really cool little devices that you can program.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to keep up to date with all our latest coding projects, make sure to subscribe. And if you've got any suggestions on videos you'd like us to make, make sure to comment below.